Warhammer 40k is something that I 3D print and paint a lot of on my channel. Whether it's full armies, terrain, or diorama projects, 40k has been a staple at facility. So this is not a shot at 40k, but as I get older I find myself more involved in the building and painting side of the hobby than the gaming side. Which is why I think it's important for us all to, at times, step outside the universe of 40k to build and paint something, well, different because it will help you become a better hobbyist. This time, I decided to immerse myself into the Halo universe and see how some of these minis would turn out. Now back in the day, I was really into Halo, and recently, season two of the TV series really piqued my interest again, so I decided to jump back into this world. And I thought that the Spartans and the Covenant would be a nice change of pace from say some Space Marines and some Tyranids. Now I went ahead and used my Frozen Muddy 4K because the build plate is huge and I was able to print off everything that I wanted in a few quick prints. And as always, everything just came out perfectly on this printer. Now I did go ahead and wash them in the Mega Wash Station with some 9% IPA and these things came out really nice and clean. What I like to do is remove the supports at this step before I cure them because I find it does a lot less damage to the miniatures that way. Once the supports were removed, I placed the minis into the frozen cure machine and I set it to four minutes, but in retrospect, I should have set it to three minutes because this machine is really powerful and I might have over cured them a little bit. But nevertheless, these things were really nice. They are multi-part kits and I had a blast assembling them. Of course, I had to print off one of the most famous vehicles from the Halo universe, which is the Warthog. I also printed a ghost as well. Then I went ahead and I gave everything a simple black base coat using one of my gallery airbrushes. Once this was done, I gave a really heavy dry brush of some gray using a makeup brush that I got really cheap at Walmart. These things work really good, if not better, than some of the more expensive dry brushes that you can purchase. I also went ahead and did the vehicles in this exact same undercoating fashion. Now these Spartans were very small and detailed, so a diluted speed paint which was mixed with some Windex, really, really made for some fast work of this armor. And I also did the Warthog the same as well, and of course I needed that classic gold halo visor. You can see here I did two colors, one was a green version and one was a blue version. And it was really nice to paint this type of armor up for a change. And I did it really quickly. The Warthog came out really nice, very simple paint jobs, but that green is just iconic and it really popped on the table. Next, it was time to paint some grunts. Now normally I wouldn't do yellow because it's so hard to paint, but I took this opportunity to use some of the Zealot Yellow by Army Painter, and these speed paints really made for a nice yellow armor. So if you're looking for some yellow Space Marine armor, I really recommend this color. The flesh tones here were done with a darker brown, which really helped uh, clean up any of the mess that I made with the yellow. All the weapons on all these miniatures went with purple. Now you can see here, these things really popped. I did go in and dry wash a little bit of paint chips on the armor, and I'm really happy with how this yellow turned out. Next up was the jackal, and I decided to go with some orange skin, which is something I didn't get to do a lot of with my 40K stuff. So it was a nice change of pace to use that color and it really worked well under this dark gray base coat. Again, you can see the Windex in the background there. I did dilute this about 50-50, and I did dilute this black here that I use for all the clothing areas of these miniatures. Now, if you're looking for some nice blue for your Space Marines, Army Painter Speed Paint Magic Blue just worked wonders on this jackal, and it made it really, really pop. This was my first time using this color, I think, and I must say, I really did like it. Now the thing with speed paint, though, you got to be quick because once it starts to draw and you try to move it around, it doesn't like to cooperate with you. 
a little bit more details on his eyes and hair and then I went in and dry brush and edge highlighted up some metal scrapes on his armor to give it a more battle worn look. The brutes were very detailed miniatures and I had to give two coats of this sand golem color to get it to really um, overpower the gray undertones here. Once that was done, I used that black again on all the clothing bits of his armor. The straps around his legs, I went with a hardened leather, one coat. This worked out really quickly, really nicely. And the armor, I did the same as the Spartan armor. I did it in cloudburst blue with some metal chips afterwards. Both of these models came out really nice and there's a lot of color combinations that I got to use that I normally wouldn't on some of my other 40k stuff. I'm also really happy with the ghost and I gotta take a second here to thank my Patreon members. You guys are awesome, you really helped with this channel. All the IPA that you saw in the wash machine was actually purchased through your support, so thanks again. Every one of these miniatures was built for a really cool Halo themed diorama. I'm going to link that video here along with some other awesome videos on my channel. Be sure to check them out and I'll catch you on the next one.